Hey everybody and welcome back to PE Design 10. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk about how we see things, different ways, different things to see in PE Design 10. Now the first thing that I would like to see are trims. I'd like to see those little scissors there but I don't see them anywhere. So there's a quick fix I see up here, view thread trimming, but it's grayed out. So click on the flower and we have to go to design settings. And this is where you pick your machines and your hoop size and everything like that. There's lots to do here. Page background, page color, you can click it back to default. Now what you have to do here is even if you have a single needle machine like Big Dreamy, he tends to, he will trim stitches, but click on the multi needle machine and just click OK after that. Now when you are in regular view, you can see the scissors, you can see the trim marks on it, the scissors. So that will indicate to you that there are trims. So you can, you know, see where everything, make sure the trims are in the right spot. And as you can see, view thread trimming is now up. So you can select it or deselect it easily without having to remember to go into the flower and do it that way. So that's the first thing, see your trims. Now I just selected that one. The, this is just a built-in design and I'm going to right click and I'm going to duplicate the shortcut was control D and I am going to put it right there. These are kind of small designs. This is a four by four hoop that I've chosen. Now the problem that I have here is that we're going to do brown, yellow, green, red, and I guess it's an orangey color. And then we're going to do brown, yellow, green, red. Okay. That would be way too many, um, color changes and they're unnecessary color changes. So what I would like to do is click on this little button here, optimize sewing order and click on that and brown, yellow, green, red. So you do have to watch on this one, it worked perfectly, but if you have layers, you gotta make sure that the layers are okay. So now we have some jump stitches across because it's gonna stitch the brown and it's gonna trim. And you see this dotted line, it's gonna go over here and stitch the brown and trim and then go on to the yellow. You can see the dotted lines are machine movement because they're not jump stitches because we've trimmed them. So that's a good quick tip to make sure you optimize everything because you really don't want five extra color changes when you don't have to. I'd rather have the the trims and move it across when you're, you know, duplicating designs or even merging designs. You can set up all the colors like that. It's really helpful and it's really handy. The other thing you can do is click on here. You can zoom you can hide objects, not stitch. So some things aren't going to be stitched. You can show by color order and now it separates it because if we go back, let's do an undo here. Where's my undo? I get lost sometimes. I have so many different software going on. There's our undo. They're always green. So we undid that. Let's do it here and you can view it show by color order. So you can see this one, it has it two by two. If you wanted to adjust one of these, you'd have to open it up and do it like that. I would also like to point out that all of these are numbered and I really like that one, two, three, four, five. And then you can click on the plus sign here and this is two, one, and two, two. That makes it really easy. If you get lost and you want to put that back, you need to know that it goes there. And I really like that. I think that's very helpful. So that is a couple ways of seeing your designs and optimizing your designs for better efficiency. Another interesting you thing you can do to view your files is go to view 
and you know we've done the the solid stitch realistic and trimming the one thing you can do here is reference window and that's kind of cool it gives you an overview of what your whole entire hoop looks like so if you're zoomed in for example if you're zoomed in on this and you can't see it you can always refer to over here and see your whole design obviously it's not really that applicable with this one because we can see everything it's small designs but just for example if you were doing a bigger design this would give you an overview of it and i think it's really handy you can zoom in you can zoom out on it just on the corner here and of course like i did you can move it around i would probably put it here so i can easily refer to it. So that's a couple of ways of viewing your work. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to let me know you want more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.